Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 35. In this video, we're gonna take a look at working with a rally style anti-lag. Now the rally anti-lag is used when we have a turbocharged engine and we wanna build boost when we come off a lift throttle condition. It's gonna be able to pull ignition timing and add fuel and cut spark in order to build that boost. And as soon as we come back on the throttle, it's gonna have boost available right away. We don't have to wait for it. So essentially, we don't have to worry about a laggy turbocharger. We can stay right within the power band, be able to modulate our power and our throttle much more linearly. So we're gonna introduce the concept of how this is gonna work and how to actually program all the different tables we have. And there's actually gonna be two different table sets. There's gonna be a rally anti-lag table set one and two that we could have two different profiles for working with a rally anti-lag. So there's gonna be a lot of things to cover. Let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with a rally style anti-lag in our EMU Black tuning software. Now, before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure you have your motorsports tuning page layout open on screen so you can follow along with what I have in the video. We're able to find that under our desktops, open desktops template, then here under our motorsports tuning option. Let me click cancel here since I already have it loaded onto my laptop. We're gonna find that we have our setup page here, that's gonna be our primary page. We're gonna move across all the way into a page called ALS, that's gonna be our rally anti-lag. In this page, we're gonna be able to configure all the programming details and all the table configurations here, so it's gonna be working as we'd like. Now before we jump in and talking about the actual rally anti-lag, let's talk about what we have on screen here, then we'll cover the concept of rally anti-lag and what we're trying to accomplish, then go through an example here of programming all the conditions and then simulating what that's gonna be looking like so we know what to watch for in order to make sure this is working right. So the upper left-hand corner, we're going to have our basic live data screen here uh, showing us all of our information we need to log or take a look at. We also have our fuel live information. We have our ignition live information drive-by wire. This is going to be if we use drive-by wire in conjunction with the rally anti-lag. If you're not drive-by wire, you don't need to worry about this. Everything in the window here will be zero. It's not going to be used. And then down here under the ALS tab, this is going to be showing us all of our live data pertinent to the actual anti-lag feature. So we can see here, is it active? Yes or no. And then if it is active, what kind of fuel correction is it making? What kind of spark cut is it making? And what kind of ignition angle is it commanding from our tables up here? So uh, we're going to find that we also have a wideband air fuel reading and then a map pressure reading. And we want to keep track of what the widebands are reading when the rally anti-lag is enabled. If we need to add more fuel, then we're able to accomplish that in our fuel correction table. Um, so we want to have an appropriate air fuel when the, again, the rally anti-lag is starting to work. And then also here, the map pressure, we want it to be giving us the boost that we'd like when we're using the rally anti-lag. So we may or, may or may not need to go into our ignition correction table here and put uh, more advanced going higher in the number in uh, more towards zero, or if we need a lower number here, uh, having more ignition retard, to be able to achieve late combustion. So we're able to kind of keep track of that with our gauges. So these two gauges are very important in setting up the rally anti-lag. We're also going to have our graph log that we can play back here, take a look at any of that live data within our cursor in our window, um, and or plot things graphically. So we always want to keep track of what this is doing in any window. We're going to have our parameters in here. Uh, this is going to be the actual programming details to make sure this works. These are going to be things uh, telling when to turn on, when to turn off. So very important. We're also going to find that we have our four primary tables when we're talking about our anti-lag strategy one. We're actually going to have two strategies. So we have four more tables if we're going to be using our strategy number two. So there's going to be our strategy one, strategy two. And within the four tables here, it's going to be ignition, retard, fuel adder, percentage fuel adder, the cut we're trying to work with here, the percentage cut, so either fuel or ignition cut, and then here the actual drive-by wire target. So these four tables will be used in order to uh, make the rally anti-lag successful in impl implementation. And then um, if we jump back in here, this again will be the programming details that we need to configure and work with. So now that we talked about what we have on screen, let's talk about the idea of the rally anti-lag. So when we're talking about anti-lag in general, it's gonna be allowing us to retard the ignition timing so we have really late combustion. It's also gonna be applying some kind of a cut so that it maintains and holds at a particular RPM point or a particular RPM range. And thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.